Hi, in this video I will show you how to put together the dad card, which is a free SVG from Simply Crafty SVGs. So I wanted to put together a card that was pretty easy to put together and it was a generic dad card. So you could add some um, card stock that was themed or something like that. It just says dad. So this will go down like this and then dad. So with a little bit of embellishments on there. So it's something really quick to make, especially if you don't have a father that is really into like a specific hobby or anything like that. Um, here's an example. So the card done. This is got some sports theme paper. And then you can see I just wrapped a little twine and you can put your message inside. It is a A2 card size which is um, 4.25 by 5.5. So it'll fit in the A2 envelope, which we have a free one that you can make in our uh, basic envelope set. And I use this for both cards. I use this paper pad pack. Um, so the here, most of these, other than this, this is American Crafts um, cardstock and 80 pound. So you can see, just fold it. But when we put it, things on, we'll go ahead and put it flat. It'll make it easier. Um, but first we want to go ahead, I'm going to use a button in it so I have that in there. Um, there's, we'll talk about how to put these on, but first we want to put these together. So these need to be um, pieced together. So we'll go ahead and you have these little pieces right here. So you just have to figure out where they go and there's going to be two different colors for each letter. So that goes there, that goes there, it's like a little puzzle. Once you get the puzzle, it's not as difficult. Just remember there's two different colors, and once you find where they go, it makes it way easier. So they should fit in there exactly. I mean, you may not get it on exactly, but it should fit pretty exact. Sometimes a little off, you're not gonna really notice it. It's just to give it a little bit of dimension. And this fun this one has a little funky thing right there so it'll help you line it up so you can go ahead I'll um, I'm not gonna be talking through this next section but um, show you how I put these together and just make sure you just line them up, up to the edges So there they are, and um, because these are, some of them were white core, this paper, and don't worry about if it's like very, um, if you're off a little bit, because uh, we can go around the edges, this will help with it being off just a little bit, and with white core paper. So I'm just going to take this black ink and ink around the edges. You could do this on the pieces prior, but it really kind of cleans up the edge. Just a little tip if I'm sure there's others that know or use this. And you could use um, any, and also make sure that you're in the right place. I didn't line that one up. Uh, it'll be off a little bit, but that's okay. Um, 
You could use any Distress ink. Uh, unfortunately, the ink I'm using is no longer sold, but I have a bunch of it, so I still continue to use my little color box chalk inks. So now that we have them all ready to go, we're just going to come over here, get the card, line up each of the letters, and glue them on. So you just want to line them up to the shapes. The D's are the same shape. So you can put the D's wherever you want. You can put them at the top. You could, um, it doesn't matter which one you use on the top or bottom. They just have a slightly different pattern, but it doesn't matter. And then when you're done, if you don't like the, like this one's ivory on the edge, if you didn't like that, well, you could just ink that edge if you wanted to. Um, doesn't bother me too much. Since I was off a little bit on this, this uh, panel, use its overhang. Um, I'll just match it up at the top in the middle. It'll, it'll be noticeable on the other side, just on this side. I'll put this last D. So if you do like our freebies, I would appreciate a little thumbs up below. And or if you haven't already subscribed, if you could go ahead and subscribe to our channel. If you hit that little bell, you'll be notified when we have a new project available, such as um, any of our SVG files and or the few tutorials that I do. And I've been trying to put a couple here and there out to help others with things that I know. It's truly appreciated. So now we have the dad on. So I'm going to go ahead and I decided I want to ink that edge because I don't like this showing through too much to get it the same. And I'm just doing it around the edge of the letter where I can kind of see the color of the ivory paper or cardstock. And you can see the other side. I had a little overlap there and I could always just trim that if, if you had the same issue. And then we'll go ahead with these. So these you can put any way you want. You can put them like this. You can use them as a ribbon, like that. Oops, that's a double-sided. I'm going to use the green side. You could go over here and line them up like that. Put the color on either side. Or just use one or none. So since I did the other card a little bit differently, so the other card, I put both of them on the left here. So we're also going to use twine on this card. I'm not very good at tying those things. But let's go ahead and do that. Something different. So you can just arrange however you want. It's just there to give you ideas. Of course, you'll be adding your own embellishments anyways. Let's make sure I line that up carefully. And just know these aren't straight edges. These are kind of rough edges on purpose to give it more masculine feel. Since I'm going to have this under this one, I have to place this first and determine where I'm going to put it. I have a little angle on this one. I'm going to make sure that for some reason it, it cut kind of strange on this one. So I'm make sure that's taken care of. So that's where I want it. And, and you could always put a, a pencil mark or something like that. I'm just going to eyeball it. I think it's about right here. So it just helps with the empty space on the right. And it'll go from top to bottom. This particular piece didn't, for some reason it didn't get uh, it, it will be like that in the file. It's frustrating when things don't work out just so. And then I'm just going to flip it around and put this on top. So you see it's not really uh, that complicated of a card to make. I think this last, this last part is going to be the hardest part. Because for some reason those two long pieces didn't cut quite right, like I said, that won't happen when you get the file. Um, 
I'm just going to do a little inking around the edge all the way around. Kind of gives it a little bit of a more of a feel. Actually, I'm going to do that too. I decided to add a little bit of twine to this. So I just wrapped it around three times just to give it a little dimension. I'm going to tie it up here. And then we'll go ahead and uh, add a little button on top. So it would be fun to put something themed to, maybe another personalized mes message, maybe um, if this were a card for a father from a wife or something and just say to my husband or something like that, Happy Father's Day. You could always put something additional like that. Not good at tying knots really well, so I'm going to do my best on camera. It's kind of where I wanted to have the, so you can see that it's just right here. I'm just moving around. But I'm going to put the button there. So you might want it tighter than me, and if you needed to, you could just put a little glue dot, or I'm going to put a dot of glue behind us. I need to. So let's go ahead and. A glue dot might be easier, but we're going to just go ahead and put a little button of glue down there first. Then we're going to put this real button over it to give it kind of a effect. So I had already tied a little bit of a twine around that. You might want to use, like I said, a, a glue dot. But if you hold it long enough, um, this art glitter glue actually does well with different mediums. I have glue on my fingertips so make sure you clean your fingers. And just be careful if there's, um, I just got a little glue. If you have to send a card, be careful with the dimension you put on there. So I got the glue off, my handy dandy wet paper towel. Can you see it? Just a, a nice, quick, easy card. And it is quicker. That was probably the longest part to put that. And of course, I'm a perfectionist. So, anyways, I'll fiddle with that later. And then we, here we go. We have a different version that has a sports theme. So, I hope you enjoyed this little freebie. And uh, I would love to see if you and you can join our group on Facebook. Um, and there's a link on our Facebook page, uh, or you could just send me a picture. I mean, you could uh, always email me um, via contact form and say, I want to send you a picture, and I'd love to see it. Well, thank you so much for watching, and until next time.